my Gucci Spikely Scrimptious Delicious Libra. Welcome to your love tarot reading. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And we're doing your Libra system reading. All right, we're going to see what is going on between you and your person. Please show me angels for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <clears throat> oh, baby, baby, baby. <laughs> Oh, so much sadness. Everybody's so sad. Cheer up, Bill. Not you, your person. Your person. In 2023, there is abandonment here. All right, this person abandoned you in the past, and now they're paying the price. So they're getting their karma, their regrets, you know, regrets, remorse, despair, uh, everything. It's like a Victorian poem or something. <laughs> the Ten of Swords. Your person's not doing well. Their entire karma is just kind of closing in on them. You know, they wish they'd made different decisions uh, in their connection with you. They, they just wish they'd been different. You know, things had been different. They know they brought it on themselves. They see was the star of their life, baby. You are the main character in their life still. They want to follow their star. You, you're like, the, you know, this like shining little boo-boo on the firmament of life. And they know that when you were in their life, baby, you know, before this rift or separation, I think this is like a breakup, you know, I think this is something that's over. <clears throat> but you know your story best, baby. I think this person sees you now in the, from the perspective of time as a very positive influence. So, you know, you brought a lot of healing, a lot of light into their life, and now their life is not as complete without you. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what happened in the past to make the situation so also Libra, my baby, if you are new to the channel, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. And if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I see you, baby. Give mommy a kiss. <laughs> Libra, I know that you know. <laughs> I know. You know that I love you, baby. I love you so much. <laughs> I'm Libra in Vedic Astrology, and I'm a Scorpio in uh, Western. Uh, Scorpio Rising, Libra Rising in Vedic, baby. Yes. Libra, Libra pride. Okay. Oh, baby, what is going on? See, this is like a pattern in the readings today. There's a lot of like, you know, devil from the past, you know, old devil. <laughs> There's like an old devil thinking about you, watching you. This person could be watching you. They could be quite obsessive, like in a quiet way. So maybe they've never admitted, but they are actually obsessed with you and obsessed with returning into your life. The devil. This person made you feel like you didn't have all the information in the past, you know? You, they made you feel like they were gaslighting you or they weren't 100% honest with you. It made you feel weird. They gave you a weird feeling in your little heart. Uh, but they came with a lot of passion, a lot of passion, a lot of promises, a lot of ambition for this connection, this relationship. If it was a bimbo himbo, anyone in between you went on Tinder on the Tuesday, it was somebody who... You were thinking, like, there's something not right about this person, you know? It was almost like you could tell they were trying to, like, love bomb you or something like that because it was just, like, very intense, very in your face, a lot going on all at once. But there was something, you know, of a, a temptation to this person as well. It was almost like, Libra, you knew this person wasn't, like, 100% good for you, but you kind of went with it. Or maybe you suspected they weren't 100% good for you, something like that. Two of Swords, you know, you just, you wanted to know more about this person. And I feel like the minute you started to find out more information about this person, this person could have, you know, ended the connection, especially if it was something new, if it was like a new bimbo himbo. If it was an established bimbo himbo, I think it was a whole dynamic where this person would do whatever they wanted to, and then they would, you know, ask for forgiveness, you know, but they would do the thing anyway. They'd first do the thing, and then they'd be like, oh, please forgive me, Libra. I think you felt like this person was hiding a lot of things from you, and Libra always knows cause, because Libra is justice in the tarot. So, you know, you know, like, justice is, you know, knows things without needing to look at them. Justice is blind. So, you know, you could see things that this person was trying to hide from you is very unpleasant you always felt like they were trying to hide something baby and now this person regrets um maybe like um a decision made in a moment of passion or like being too aggressive in the decision they made they they regret the ending they wish they had never ended that this where if they wish they'd never um can um created a situation where this ended 
And, you know, there's, they do still see you as their shining little star baby. And their intentions, they want to they let go of the burden. They want to unburden themselves t towards you. They, they want to come to you and tell you how they feel. They feel like they're carrying all this pain all by themselves. The loneliness is getting to them as well. It's a very, very sad time for them. The little bit boo. Poor little bit boo, like a little beetle here. A little dung beetle, you know. Mm. Well, you shouldn't have mistreated the Libra bit boo, though. I'm sorry, baby. It's it's not a good position they put you in. You know, for some of you, you had a person who was just like all about themselves and they would like flirt with other people or do whatever they wanted. I don't see a cheater, but I see someone who made you feel insecure in the situation. And it, it wasn't so much on purpose. I actually don't see like that much manipulation here, but it was just like selfishness to the nth degree. Like it was like selfishness, like Olympic medal of selfishness, <laughs> kind of, you know, like um, a PhD from Oxford and, you know, only caring about yourself from Oxford and Cambridge, you know, <laughs> professor of selfishness is what it was. But the love is real and they will reach out to tell you they love you. That's what they're, they're intending to do. They want to unburden themselves and they will, baby. They will. Let's look at the time frame. It's up to you, Libra, what you want to do with this person, but they're definitely coming in. The time frame is a bit of a mystery. It might be when you least expect it in the next two hours, two days, two weeks, or two months. We're in February, in the second month of the year. We've got the high priestess here. So, you know, also a lot of like, um, Water energy uh, is coming up as well. Maybe your person is water. or They have a lot of water in their chart, but it's kind of like, you know, uh, still waters run deep kind of a situation here. Maybe, you know, maybe you're not expecting this person to come in with this beautiful apology, but they will, you know. I think they're going to do something big and something very, like, touchy-feely romantic. So a, a gesture you're not expecting from someone like them, baby, is what I would say. All right, Bibu, um, this is what I have for you today. It's all up to you, baby. It's all about free will on this channel. Just, you know, remember not to ever give someone um, a chance without verifying if they've really changed, baby. And never wait for them, but Bibu, um, just go out there and have fun and, you know, feel yourself. Uh, all right, baby, this is what I have for you today. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Also, if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my readings, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button, and, of course, a like the video because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube and if you'd like to get a personal reading with me all the information is down in the description box, box below together with my other magical services mommy still can't speak I don't know what's going on uh with my magical services but my baby <clears throat> I'll see you next time Libra stay sparkly stay gorgeous stay moisturized and may the angels protect you <laughs>